Hello, Mr. Johnson here, and uh, today we're uh, doing an experiment called calories in a peanut. You can see I got my lab apron on, it's kind of messy. You should probably have your lab apron on. You're going to need your safety glasses too because it involves some fire. Okay, well, the basic idea here in this lab is that uh, uh, energy is conserved, okay? And I have a peanut, actually, I'm going to use a cashew for my demonstration. And if I can somehow capture the energy from this peanut and transfer it into water, which happens to be in this can, this is my calorimeter today, this, this soda can, I can see how much the temperature changes and I can calculate how much energy went into the water. And from that, I can calculate, you know, since that should equal to the energy that came out of the peanut, I can figure out how many uh, uh, joules of energy are in this peanut and then I can convert that into calories and figure out the calories. So, that's what I'm going to do right here. Uh, I'm going to just stop here for one second. Well, I hope I don't have to leave again. I had to go get my, had to go get the can for the peanuts. Okay, so this is basically the setup I need. I've already put some tap water in here, maybe about a third of a can. Need more water than you did last time. And I'm going to take a temperature of that water right now uh, by putting my thermometer in here and again, it's going to be around a room temperature. It's a little cooler now because we've been running water here today. And so we've got some colder water out of the pipes. Uh, it looks like it's 20 degrees uh, here. I'm going to need to write that down here under initial temperature of the water, TIW. So you can use this for your data for your first trial. Okay. So 20 degrees is initial temperature of the water. Uh, I need the mass of the peanut. Well, actually, it's a cashew here and the mass of that is 1.71 grams. We're going to call this trial one. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to use the heat from the peanut. We're going to try to catch a peanut on fire and use that to heat up the water. I'm going to need a little stand for the peanut. I've got a large paper clip and I'm going to use my engineering skills to fashion a little uh, stand for that. You can either do that or you can use one of the little stands uh, other people have made from an earlier class. Well, it looks like it's going to stand there. So let me see if I can get my cashew on there. And I'm, I'm good to go there. I got my cashew on my little stand. Okay, so I'm going to um, lower this can down here. And I'm going to try to light this cashew on fire using uh, some, uh, use some matches. Okay, now you might want to have several matches out because might, you might have to use a little tag team on your matches because Maybe one match won't do it. So you and your lab partner. Oh, let's get our safety glasses on here since we got the fire. Okay, safety glasses. Uh, I'm going to take this out of my way now so you can see my beautiful safety glasses. Uh, here we go. Let's get her going. Trying to light this on fire. I'm getting a second match ready. So in case one doesn't quite do it. And oh boy, this stinks. That's one thing about this lab. This is not a lab for asthmatic people. Okay. If you got asthma, you go in the outside and get the data from your lab partner. I'm going to have to light another match here and uh, get another match going there. I'm going to have to get. I'm going to get another match right in case this one doesn't quite do it. Sometimes it takes two or three matches, and the stuff stinks too. Okay, so the more you can kind of stay out of the fumes, the better. Okay, I'll keep. We'll keep the the, the fume hood running. Looks like I'm getting some action here. Looks like two. Uh, I got a two match light here, so now a lot of people when they blow out the match, they blow out the peanut. Look at me, I was smart. Okay, so I'm going to lower this down here like this, and so that the fire is hitting the bottom of the can because I want to capture as much of the heat as I can. So I, I'm trying to get as much as I can of the uh, heat from the peanut to go into the water. Okay, now you might think, well. <laughs> A lot of heat's getting away. Yes, it is. I don't know if you can see. Can you see all this brown stuff coming up? You know what that brown smoke is? Well, that brown smoke is soot, okay? There is a lot of carbon in that peanut, and some of the carbon is turning into carbon dioxide, but a lot of the carbon isn't getting burned, escaping as soot, and that's what makes this lab so messy and stinky. You don't want to get your face in that, start huffing that up either, because that, that smells pretty bad. So anyway, we're going to let that go until we we get the peanut burnt as much as we can. You can kind of watch the peanut. As you watch it, you can, you can kind of
kind of see the oil coming out. Sometimes the oil even drips out. Okay, sometimes the oil even drips out and uh, burns for quite a while, okay, actually. And uh, so what we're doing is that the heat that was in the, uh, the chemical energy, which is stored in the peanut, and the bonds in the peanut is being broken, and that's being released, and then the water is absorbing that energy, and so that's making its temperature go up. Okay, so hopefully uh, when we get done here, we'll, we'll be able to uh, see how much the temperature changed. Now this is a chemical reaction, and what we did the other day with the metal was a physical reaction. Quite often, there's a lot more energy involved in chemical reactions. So I'm expecting a much bigger temperature change on my water. Even though I'm using more water, I'm, and, and the peanut weighs a lot less than those pieces of metal, uh, I'm expecting a lot bigger temperature change there in my metal. And boy, we're getting some real smoke here. This is one of the stinkiest labs in the class that we have during the year. And so we'll have to make sure we have all of our fans running. Okay, now what else can I say about this? There are some other questions on your conclusion that you'll use a little, uh, another uh, background information paper, paper that I give you to answer. Okay, so we're getting close to the end now. I think I can probably put my thermometer there and start kind of stirring it up to get that heat distributed because I want to I want to get that final temperature of the water. Boy, you could just see that sooty smoke just pour off of there. Okay, because this is this is kind of a messy lab. So uh, you want to go until it completely burns out. Now I'm going to have you do at least one one more peanut. Okay, this is a cashew. If you get the peanut done and you want to do a third, not be my guess, but you got to have my trial and at least your trial. Okay, now the peanut's gone, and uh, and the temperature, the temperature of my water is uh, gone up. I think. So once it quits going up, then you can stop. The temperature of my water has gone up to 55 degrees, so it's gone up quite a bit. 55 degrees. Celsius is the final temperature of the water. Now we also need the mass of the water. And now there's soot all over the cup. This way you need the apron line. It's kind of messy. Uh, one thing I'd like you to do is uh, take this, uh, take a piece of paper towel and clean off the soot for the later classes, okay? So they don't have to get that all over them to start with. Also for you, because you're going to be handling this. You don't want it all over you. So clean off as much of that carbon soot as you can, okay? And try not to get it on your nice yellow shirt. You can throw this away. There we go. Now I'm going to get the mass of the water like I did the other day by just dumping it into here and figuring, being careful not to dump it out the little holes. Uh, figuring that, oh, look at that. I just dumped some out. You don't want to do that. Okay, so plug up the holes with your fingers. Uh, that that'd make it work better. There we go. And. Mine came out to be, probably dropped a couple milliliters out there. I'm going to say mine came out to be 107 milliliters. I had 107 milliliters, which means 107 grams of water. Okay, so now, um, I, now at this point, I need the specific heat of water, which is I go look up in the book, and it's, for, it's still the same, 4.18 joules per gram per degree Celsius. Calories per serving, I can go get that from the can. In this case, it says, on this can, it says 170 calories. And then how many grams per serving? It says, mm, let me see. Serving size, one and quarter cup, 28 grams. So it's 28 grams serving is 170 calories. Okay, so I have that now. Now I'm ready for the calculations. Under the calculations, you can find the change of temperature of the water, and then you can find the heat of the water in joules by multiplying the mass of the water times the change of temperature of the water times the specific heat of water. Okay, that'll give you the heat that the water gained in joules. Okay, now once you have that, you can change it into calories. How can you do that? Well, I told you up there in the discussion that one calorie is 4,180 joules. So if you take your joules and you divide by 4,180, you're going to get calories. Okay, that's how many calories are in your peanut. 
Well, to get the calories per gram, then you're going to take that number of calories in your peanut and divide it by the mass of your peanut. Okay, well, and, the, and mine was a cashew, it was 1.71, so you're going to divide the calories by that. And now, for the actual calories per gram, you can go and find, uh, you just wrote down, it was uh, 170 calories per 28 gram serving. So divide 170 by 28, and that'll give you your actual calories per gram. Then you can find the percent error if you're in regular, or if you're in modified, you can just see if you came close. This one, a lot of heat escapes here, and so the percent error is much larger. It's usually like about 50% as compared to maybe 10% on the lab with the metals because of all this heat escaping that we didn't capture. Okay, um, that's about as long as I can make a YouTube video, so I have to stop this now.